uh, are moving on and uh, and applause for you. <laughs> Money is important in science. So the second applause, I was obliged to, no. It's a, I want to thank uh, all the sponsors of this uh, conference, which is CCAM, ICTP, PsyK, Alto University, CISA University, and uh, Wiley, uh, which is sponsoring in particular the poster prize and the best oral presentation. And uh, Claudio is, uh, going to announce it very soon, I guess. Uh, thank you very much. So this is the moment you've been waiting for. I know you're here only for this and no other reason. So uh, we have a poster for best, oh, a prize for best poster and a prize for best contributed talk by Wiley. And first I'm gonna announce the prize for the best poster. This has been voted by all the invited speakers to the conference. And I'm happy to announce that the winner is Matteo Carli from CISA for non-parametric density estimation methods and applications to molecular simulations. Please come to the stage where I can handle you this envelope, which really contains real money. Okay, and now the prize for best contributed talk goes to Iju Chen from Alto University for precise atom manipulation through deep reinforcement learning. Uh, we have not prepared this, so we are just improvising and that's why it's two of us. No, we also like to be on stage together and just chat. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of uh, participants from all over the world and uh, we are very glad that uh, it turned out as a multicultural, multi-background event, uh, as balanced as possible in uh, speaking and poster presentations as well. Do contribute as much as you can to make this community as broad as possible in terms of techniques, cultural backgrounds, so on and so forth. And uh, for sure, you can keep being in this community through advert to applying to several people, which have paid us uh, a drink to put their name on this uh, often advertisements which I'll pass on to Claudio. Thank you. So uh, this was improvised, but we uh, received a request from many PIs and speakers to have a short slides uh, to let you know of the open positions these people have in their respective laboratories. So this is a, just a short presentation. You will find more information on the website. This presentation will be on the website and you can contact the people involved directly, which is the best way to uh, proceed with these applications. So uh, the first position is uh, co-joined between Alessandro Laio, Stefano De Gironcoli and Stefano Baroni here at CISA. And they will have three to five postdoctoral position on computational approaches to material science, molecular modeling and software development from September, 2022. So I'll give you 10 seconds to take a picture of the screen. Isn't that what we do these days? Take pictures of screens. Okay. Second position is by Boris Kozinski at Harvard University. And uh, there will be five postdoctoral post researchers for machine learning and material science. Again, contact him directly for more information. 10 seconds. 
Yes, but <laughs> then uh, with Lars Banco lab, uh, he will have uh, one postdoctoral researcher for materials informatics and one PhD student for materials informatics, Ruhr Universität Bochum. So contact him for this. Or go be faster. Zachary Olisi, who just spoke, uh, will have a postdoctoral researcher at NESAP working on development of machine learning codes for the Perlmutter GPU supercomputer. So this is the not a uh, position with him directly, but he recommended this not the best. So contact him for more information. Milica Todorovic, one of the organizers, has one postdoctoral position at the University of Turku, and uh, please contact her directly for more information. And finally, Patrick Rink from Aalto University, also one of the organizers, will have a postdoctoral researcher position in machine learning for solar energy and a postdoctoral researcher position in machine learning for molecular modeling. So contact him if you are interested. And finally, we have one more request from one of the attendees, which we are glad to uh, con contribute to, which is an upcoming workshop. So please, go to you. Yes, thank you very much for, uh, for letting me uh, present this. So I, I'm eternally grateful to all, all the organizers of this event because I've found it incredibly enriching. I've met old friends and made some new ones, and it's really reinvigorated my passion for the field that I work in. Um, one of the things I'm really passionate about is equivariant learning, which we've learned a lot about, and it'd be super cool to keep up the momentum from this meeting. So if any of you are available, it'd be absolutely fantastic to have you in Lausanne in July between uh, the 11th and 14th. Um, it's being organized uh, with myself and the group of Michele Ceriotti at FFL, as well as Boris Kaczynski's group, Tess Schmidt at MIT, and Josh Rackers and Thomas Harding at Sandia National Labs. And the spirit of the meeting we'd like to have is very similar to this, something very participatory, uh, tutorials, discussions, and of course, contributed talks on this very new and sort of difficult to understand field. So we just want to come together and solve unsolved problems and share the tools that we have um, to see if we can solve applications that are relevant as well. So um, there's the link, the sign up's open right now. We can only accommodate 50, so it may well fill up. So if, if it's something that's very interesting for you, I would recommend you sign up as soon as you can. So thanks for your time. Finally, I would like to uh, welcome all the organizers of the conference, Mita Todorovic, Patrick Fink, and Stefano De Gironcoli for a final thank you. To you all, to all the people on Zoom, we had 100 in-person in participants from around the world, 160 uh, peak uh, users on Zoom, and a total of 240 participants. The videos on YouTube are already being uh, watched by many people. And uh, now a final thank you to CISA and ICTP and the ICTP cabin crew for making this event run as smoothly as possible. And again, to all the sponsors and finally to you all. So thank you very much. <laughs>